I'm Peter Block and this is TCT 2018. And here's the question for you, for all the interventionalists out there. If you're doing a stent placement, do you need intravascular ultrasound to check whether or not you've done a good job? With me is John G. Jang from Nanking, and he has just finished talking about the ultimate trial. So, John G., tell me what your trial was to start with, and then you can answer the question for me. Hi, Peter. It's my great yes. honor. First, let me introduce the, my ultimate trial. Actually, this is a, a randomized multi, a multi center study. This study is try to answer the question uh, the efficacy and the. the sorry. It's okay, keep going. Uh, it's try to answer the benefits of iris guidance over angiographic guidance in a coma patient who receive second generation jacket within stand. Okay, so you randomize to IVIS versus angiographic appearance? Yeah, that's right. Totally, we include 1,448 patients. One-to-one -one ratio randomized to either IVIS guidance or angiographic guidance. Okay, and what are the outcomes? What was your primary outcome? My, uh, this study is a prime at the point is one year TVF. It's okay. competent at the point, including cardio deaths, TVMI, and the TVF, clinical driven TVR. Okay, so clinical driven target lesion failure. Yeah. Who won? Did the IVIS win? Because I bet it did. Let me show you the result at one year follow up. Uh, compared with angiographic guidance, IVIS guidance of associated with a low rate of TVF. 2.9 compared with 5.4 in angiographic. So level. almost double. Yeah, nearly double. Okay, so that's a very significant difference, okay. isn't it? So tell me what the IVIS actually has done for these patients. Does it see edge dissection? Does it see inadequate uh, stent deployment better than angiograms? That's the point. According to our protocol, uh, the protocol recommended pre-standing IVAS check and the post-standing IVAS check, there is a, a very important criteria for IVAS optimization technique, including three options. The first option is minimum stand area less than 5.0 square millimeter. Second is uh, residual plug burden either at the proximal or distal edge of the stand less than 50%. Which is important. Yeah, the third is uh, uh, if there is any severe dissection, involved median should be less than three millimeter. All these criteria should be met. We can define the op optimal uh, IVAS guided PCR procedure. Okay, so there you have it. Optimal IVAS guidance for a stent placement is a clear winner. Yeah. And uh, would you use IVAS for every patient if you had the choice? Yeah, nowadays, according to our ultimate study trial result, nearly, I think, almost the case I were performed uh, with IVAS guidance. In our practice, more than 80% of cases, daily practice. And you had no complications from the IVAS use? Actually, there is uh, some uh, failure, especially when very calcified lesion. Actually, we cannot uh, cross the uh, uh, IVAS. As these scenarios, sometimes I will do the low tabulation, then do the IVAS before the standing. So there you have it, good advice.